Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. Peter's playing SimCity, which, I mean, over here on Basement Let's Play, Peter did play SimCity and played it, played it well he did. It's actually one of the <laughs> highest viewed, or, or actually still the highest viewed series on the entire Basement Let's Play channel. People really like watching Peter play SimCity, I guess. Uh, that and uh, City Skylines. He did some really, really big, giant projects in those games. Um, like, populating and building whole regions. Oh my gosh. A lot of a lot of work. That's Oh, is that rotten coffee? Peter, take out that coffee. Ew, that's gross. Okay, what we're going to try to do today is we're going to try just running things at super speed, see if we can get some money going here, and uh, just kind of watch what happens when Peter and Ted are left to their own devices a little bit. The only thing that I really want to interrupt um, for and make sure that they do uh, is get to work on time. So. And he's not paying attention to his hygiene right now, which is not good. Why are you you're working out, going to the bathroom. Okay, that's good. Um, do you know how to repair a, a... Wow, he's letting off stinky smells. Peter. Okay, Ted's bringing home the bacon. Um, yep. Yeah. What do we say? We're going to make Peter repair this shower because this is a this is a big problem hey he likes being handy that's that's good peter likes that he likes being handy there we go take a shower get that stinkiness off of you that's good okay and what's the thing for jobs jay all right j and o that's really what we got to pay attention to here J-O space. So we're, this is high speed. This is high speed simsing right now. Um, if I double click on him, we automatically go there, right? Wonderful. His job performance is pretty good. He's got to do daily activities in order to be able to qualify for a job. Ted's working in two days, so he's got time for that. Peter... Is uh, you take another shower. All right. <clears throat> we were we were um being very micromanagey to Ted and Peter before. But now we're just gonna let them do their thing and see what happens. Have a sim stay awake for 24 straight hours? This probably was Ted. What's Ted's job thing looking like? He can go to bed in two days. Okay, cool. They both have the same days. No, they don't have the same days off. But they both have today off. So that's good. Ted's asleep. Getting some, getting some rest. <clears throat> Coffee machine's broken. Let's see if Peter's got the uh, the gall to fix it. Whoa. Did he just purposely make something off flambe? Or did he, like, accidentally make something off flambe? <laughs> I don't know. So things that we still got to do here. Obviously, we want them to continue to get job upgrades, unlock more stuff over time. I do want Ted and Peter to meet Kelsey and Lisa and become friends at some point so we can, like, I don't know, call them, have them come over and hang out. Um, and our kids, too. They're all living in one house together. But we don't have to manage that household at all. We just needed the people to exist in the world. So... Get back to super high speed simsing. This is a very typical situation I'm, I'm looking at right now where it's like two people live together, something breaks, like the coffee machine, and both of them just kind of ignore it and hope the other one's going to do it. 
Peter, why don't you sleep on the bed? I mean, I'm not going to stop you, but that's a bad choice. That's what's that's what's called a bad choice. I don't know what that 25 was. Maybe I wrote some jokes or something. It's always making those sounds like. Like jokes, practice music. Ooh, what's Peter doing downstairs? Oh, he's watching TV. Oh my gosh, Peter, you're breaking everything in this house. Peter works in 15 hours. Ted works in 22. I think we're going to have Peter repair that, and we're going to have Ted repair the coffee machine. Just got to keep the house working, you know? Dude, I've tried to fix our coffee machine so many times over the years. It never works. It's just, go pick up another one. Part of it is that we've got really hard water at my house, and so um, it just kind of, like, corrodes things, especially like coffee machines over time. They get jammed with stuff. Why is there such like a ominous sound there? Okay, Peter works in how many hours? Ten hours? That's plenty of time to get rest. That works at 18, and he's doing pretty good on everything. All right, the super speed is going well so far. We're just raking in the cash each day that we work, but this is definitely uh, not one of those days. Death is inevitable. Peter knows that. Learn more about fears. No. Peter obtained the following upgrade parts. Three common upgrade parts. Oh, interesting. Upgrade parts. Cooking level two. Peter works in six. So I can upgrade this? What does that mean? Upgrade the water flow regulator. Uh, speed up shower times. That's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, maybe there's a better, what would this do? Add an infuser, add self-cleaning. That's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, you need a more handiness skill. Okay to upgrade certain things. Well, I think upgrading the shower would be a cool move. And look at they're just, when I, when I leave them to their own devices, they do pretty darn good. There's just a couple little spot things that we have to do. Now that we've got them taking care of their basic needs, and we got them a couple job upgrades. I mean, that's the most important thing. Getting a raise, getting a promotion, very helpful in The Sims. But these days off. All right, back up to super speed. Um, Ted, when you're done with that, well, you gotta work in seven hours. Let's try and upgrade this to a water flow regulator. Today's mail has been delivered. Pay the bills. Wow, that was all our money. Nothing beats the feeling of crushing that final boss level. Whenever Ted is gaming, Ted is a one with as one with the universe. Safe to say that he likes video games? Yes, I think it's safe to say that Ted likes video games. We're working four hours. Let's repair that. And the toilet. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. 
Bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. Lot taxes, power, water. Total. So the lot taxes is the most. Ew, I hate taxes. 24 hours to pay for it. Shut your utilities off. I mean, I, I turned those in, so we're good. Hey, can now perform advanced upgrades on plumbing objects, and he can also craft end tables at the working, at the woodworking table. That's pretty cool. All right. Peter's back from work, brought home a hefty sum. His gaming skills went up. This is a lot better just running things at super speed at this point. So we're just basically watching for repairs that need to be made. Um, because things are kind of taking care of themselves. Our sink. And it's so funny. The stories that come up when watching The Sims are always like just my normal life woes. Our sink. Uh always has like toothpaste and gunk in it. I gotta, gotta still have a conversation with the kids about using just a little less toothpaste so it doesn't get stuck to the... Your flashlight? I haven't seen it, honey. Sorry, we're gonna have to look around. Look around and find Ted's back from work. See, now this is what I'm talking about. Oh, there's trash down here. Scavenge that for some parts. Got some parts, and then what are these? Is that is that garbage? Oh, I, I obtained some. Okay, so you want to always keep around those upgrade parts because apparently they're useful. Yeah, I know you're uncomfortable, Ted. It's fine. Oh, what does this say? Notification wall full. Notification wall. Not oh, the notification wall displays a maximum of 200 notifications. If you do nothing, the oldest notification will automatically be de deleted. Oh, okay. Is this the notification wall? I'm so confused. I thought it was saying notification. The wall is full. But I get it now. Ted, if you're uncomfortable, fix it. It's your fault, man. Oh, I ate some bad food. Job? Ted works in 14 hours. Peter works in 6. Let's repair that sink, Peter. Let's get you a little more handy. The more they can take care of their own things rather than always calling a repair specialist is better. I mean, one thing that we don't have a lot of is money, but what we do have is elbow grease. And let me tell you, Peter's got some greasy elbows. You should see, you should see the spots on his chair where his elbows go. It's just like, just so wet, always, just always moist from his greasy elbows. Oh. Look at all these little upgrade things that are going on down here. Feeling great, good vibes, ed energized. Feeling good. How about Ted? Not so much. He's he's fine. He's okay. Oh, now he's energized though. Aww. I don't remember the last time I hugged Peter. I don't know if I've ever hugged Peter. Except maybe like in a video for like a thing, for a gag. <laughs> That's so fun. No, no, no. Don't hire the repair. Oh. Oops. Peter's new project is already falling behind schedule. Does he insist that everyone work late or try to persuade his boss that he needs more time? Argue for time. Obviously. Awesome 
gives the team more time. Peter comes out a hero to both the upper management and his underlings. That's what I'm talking about, Peter. Good job. Oh, Ted, are you really going to do what I would normally do in real life and put off sleeping? Let's see. Is Ted just going to, like, fall asleep in the chair? Because he's looking like he's going to do that. <laughs> he's just going to keep himself up. Exhausted from... Uncomfortable from low energy. Dude, just stinking go to sleep. <gasps> you have to work in three hours? What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. Go to work. Get up. And go to work. Oh, what a dummy. Dumb, dumb. I just stayed up drinking coffee all night. <laughs> Whoa, Peter. No, 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 no. Just go to bed. What's with you guys? Just pay attention to your body just a little bit. Jeez. Especially, I mean, if you go to work super tired and your job performance is going to be bad. Ooh, Ted earned a vacation day. Cool. Oh, Peter's going to wet the bed. Peter, you better wake up. Need to pee? Send Peter to the bathroom to avoid a catastrophic humiliation. Ooh, a second. Well, we do have a second toilet, so that's good. <laughs> Just, we're going to let things happen. That's what we said we're going to do this episode. We're not going to micromanage. Peter, don't wet the bed. Oh, he's walking. Okay. You did it. Good job, Peter. You made it. Dude, they're going up in cooking skills. That's good. We're going to have fewer fires. It's wonderful. Ted works in 15 hours. Peter works in 7. So make sure that his stuff... So I'm, I'm getting good at watching all these things. We're not in any dire straits at all. <laughs> dire straits. I think uh, Peter pays attention to how often I say dire straits because I think I said it for the first time in uh, in a video when we were playing Mario RPG. The new Super Mario RPG comes out soon, and Mario Wonder. I'm excited to play those with Peter. Those are definitely like basement let's play kind of uh, games, but. You know, I was thinking about this. I I might I might try at some point here soon putting a little bit of time into making a supercut uh with some good edits and some narration and stuff of an entire playthrough of an older game or just a different game where, you know, Peter and I had played through a whole game and not like a review, but sort of just like a pared down, like hour long. We played through the messenger, you know, and just see how that does on the main, the basement channel. Peter's off to work, not late for work. That's great. Ted works in seven hours, but boy, oh boy, does he hungry. He woke up from being hungry. I mean, that's what I'm going to do as soon as I'm done. Oh, no. What's broken? The fridge? Is all my food going bad? Yeah, I think I have to... You always have to... Make them fix something. It doesn't seem like they fix it just for fun. Why are you uncomfortable, Ted? Oh. Foodies enjoy inspired drinks. So every time they drink water, they get uncomfortable? That seems like a bug, not a feature. Seems really annoying. 
Ted, have you been avoiding, like, bettering yourself? Your video gaming skills are getting better, but you haven't been practicing music or writing jokes. What are you doing? You're just standing there? <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, there's not enough time to write jokes. That's all right. That's all right. Look how nice and clean this house is. Man, I'm a little jealous. You want to work, Ted? Okay, cool. Let's go. Uh, Ted Lee, oh, like ships passing in the night. And Peter is so stinky. He can't sleep. His own smell is keeping him awake. <laughs> That's great. Oh, he's cleaning up a little bit of a mess there. Nice. Dude. This is a bad coffee machine. I think it's broken three times in this episode. But it's an excuse for them to get more handy, so it's not necessarily terrible. But... Ooh, select a branch. Comedian or musician? Okay. This is a this is a this is an interesting thing here. Okay? Because when I <clears throat> you know, when we first started the basement, I was definitely like a musician as a full-time job. I was the worship director at a church. At my and Peter's church back in the day. But now, I would say my job is way more comprised of comedy than musicianship. But the thing is, like, if they're saying you're a comedian, that means you're like a stand-up comedian. And we're not stand-up. I, I, you know, it'd be really great if there was a job track. We're going to say musician, because that's more accurate, I think. But Ted got it. Wow. Ted got Ooh. I'm wearing a suit? Man. <laughs> What kind of musician am I? Am I a jazz pianist? A wedding gig? I'm gonna slow this down for just a second because we need to look at the new job requirements. Sometimes it throws the schedule off. Yep, it did it. it. It threw the schedule off. Ted, I'm just gonna have you go to bed right now. Because you work in 15 hours already. Um, and then... Peter works in nine hours. He's doing good. Should probably sleep. Look at this. We've almost already gotten our money back because they have better pay, which is good. And they have Lisa. You got to see this when you have a second. Um. Well, I'm I'm recording. I'm not streaming. But you can't see me. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa's wearing pajamas. She's like, wait, am I going to be visible on a screen? <laughs> check check out what I made down in the downstairs. Nice. Remember that? It's the basement. The original. We got thought, the toilet in there. I thought you were going to show me a secret room. Oh, no. We could do that too, maybe. But... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, look at it's the actual. I gotta put Kelsey's chair over here, but then they wouldn't be able to get into the couch, so I might have to skip it. But look, we even got the I even found the pink couch. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so funny. And and they don't have uh, rugs that were the right thing, so I just carpeted part of the basement because they had carpet <laughs> yeah. laminants. It wasn't the whole thing. It was very. Yeah. It's like the perfect way to start a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Like, just make it work until... But, you know, it's... You at some point, like, if we get to a point where, like, we ever build a studio, I think we're going to build it to look like the original. Oh, yeah, but you'd probably have carpet that actually went to all the walls. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, man, but I just, I miss that. I, I really do actually kind of miss 
just the unfinished ceiling and the duct work and the cables and the li single light bulb hanging from a string, you know? You know you guys could just meet in our laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Our laundry room has all of those things. Uh, one day. One day. We'll get there. <laughs> I'm a jingle jammer. Ooh, Ted has created his the best kitty litter jingle ever. But when he pitches it to his client, the VP of dumbing things down asks him to work in the word piddle based on a recent market research. That would happen to you. Based, uh, yeah, should he make the change or fight for his art? Definitely make the change. Dude, we're a sellout for sure. Dude, we do what works. I am not somebody who's like, oh, it's my art. I have to, you know, it has to be whatever. Dude, they're paying you. They're your client. That, like writing jingles is not the time to fight for your art. If you're if you're writing a project on your own, then yeah, fight for your art. But gosh, uh huh. Gourmet cooking skills unlocked. Denied. Job performance for Peter is excellent. Ted needs to get better at music, but he's at work right now, I think. Yeah. He's at work until 8 p.m. So, Ted, go to the bathroom, and then uh, why don't you head downstairs and practice some guitar? Is there a... Aha, page up, page down. It goes up and down in the... I like that they've got the, the little hotkeys written right next to the buttons. So we can change levels of the house real quick. Just see what everybody's up to. Peter is sleeping as he should. And Ted works in 15 hours. And he's tired. Probably sleep. Yeah, let's be done with guitar. Well, I was close. He almost just fell asleep randomly. The thing that I'm most stressed out about in this game is them missing work. Peter woke up in time on his own uh, because he has to go to the bathroom and take a shower. I want to make sure he doesn't go to work stinky. Apparently that's an issue for him. Oh, breakfast. Good, I'm going to go get some breakfast for me here soon. I'm recording. It's 1038 in the morning for me right now as I record this. I found that uh, morning time is a great time to play The Sims. No. 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 Peter, why didn't you make enough food for everybody? Come on, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'll just sit down here and I'll drink your coffee. Ow. Peter's off to work. That works in five hours. Okay. Played my instrument. <gasps> Ted needs to achieve piano skill. Well, looky here. Where does a piano go in this house? I mean, it wouldn't be right to put it in the... Oh. <laughs> no way that this would only cost $1,400 for a piano like this. Dude, if you were going to get better at piano, you definitely uh, don't buy this to start. <laughs> A grand piano? Are you joking right now? <laughs> this, is, this is so weird. Because I've 
I don't have a grand piano. Uh, we need to put a door. Uh, build. <laughs> Needing a piano and then the option is a grand piano is the only option. We're just gonna put a door here because this is least likely to be really messed up. door situation and let's go ahead and build just another little wall right here arrow key move the lamp into here nice little piano practice room right here we need not lamps, wall lights. Actually, we'll just do this. Dude, I love the saucer light. Just makes the rooms actually have light in them. Okay. <clears throat> and then we need just a little more wallpaper in the piano room. Um, walls, wallpaper, actually eyedropper. There, now we have walls and eyedropper. That's a nice little piano room. Okay, back to living mode. There we go. Uh, Peter notices everybody grinning and laughing, but chat windows disappear when he comes around. <gasps> he can pretend not to notice or confront his team. Ask what's up. No one seems to hear Peter becoming suddenly very focused on work. Too nervous to take it in further, he lets it go, losing even more face and drawing more Snickers. Uh-oh. He's stinky at work or something. Something's going on with that. Ted works in two hours. Let's practice some piano for a little bit. That's cool that the piano skill is different from the guitar skill. He's learning chopsticks. I like how it's out of tune because he's bad at it. That's not how pianos work. Yes, go to work. Ted's at work. Time is zipping by. Whoa! Ted's already at back from work? Or no, Peter is back from work. There he is. Just chilling outside. Well, we're starting to rake in the money. Unfortunately for us, it's not fixing our sink for us automatically. Can we upgrade this sink? Yes, maybe. Sturdy faucets, please. Let's make these faucets not break all the time. Ooh. You can perform advanced upgra upgrades on plumbing objects and also craft end tables. Oh, yes. Ted already got that skill, but it's nice that Peter has it now. Well, it is that time for this video to be finished. Um, my goal is next time we play, we'll be able to play for a full hour. 
Um, and I'm looking forward to it. A little bit of travel. My, uh, me and my wife are heading to Nashville. And by the time you're seeing this, we will already be back. But I'm super excited for that trip. Excited to get back, play some more Sims. Hang out with all of you over here in uh, Basement Let's Play. Until next time, Basement Dollars, we think that you are more uh, tickling the ivories than uh, Joseph the Elephant Whisperer, who found that by uh, just brushing the tusks of an elephant and tickling them just a little bit, um, improved his ability to tame elephants in the basement. Hey, that's it for today's video. If you haven't already and you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, maybe even consider subscribing to The Basement for more stuff like this. And as always, a huge thank you to our patrons and members and subscribers over on Twitch. You guys make The Basement happen and uh, we couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you very much and we'll see you guys next time in The Basement.